with the release of the Missilens update, you can now keep boar, wolves, lox, and chickens as your own tamed pets in Valheim. Once befriended, you'll be able to take advantage of each of these animals' unique uses, and even breed them to get easy access to their drops, and some of the best foods currently in the game. So how do you go about getting your own tamed buddy? Well, step one is to find one out in the wild. Boar can be found in the meadows, wolves in the mountains, lox in the plains, and chickens can be found in, you guessed it, eggs. Yeah, chickens are different. Let's just put a pin in them for now. Boar, wolves, and lox need to be tamed from wild animals. In order to do this, you'll first want to capture one. Although this isn't strictly necessary for taming, it will make the process a lot easier. A simple pen will do the job, just make sure that you leave a gap for the animal to get in. When capturing boar, you can use a round pole fence or wood wall, but for wolves, you'll want to upgrade to the more durable stake wall or stone wall. If you don't aggravate the locks too much, a stone wall will suffice, but digging a steeply edged ditch might be the best option. Once you have your pen, you can lure the animal in or use the abyssal harpoon to drag them in, before quickly sealing up the pen and jumping out of there. Now that you've got the animal you want to tame, for the taming process to begin and progress, the following three conditions must be met. The animal must be within the active area, can't be alerted, and can't be hungry. Inside the active area just means that there's a player within 64 metres of it, so you'll need to stay relatively nearby if you want to tame the animal fast. You'll see if the animal is alerted by the red exclamation mark above its head, and its status, which will change to frightened. Animals will become alerted if they detect either the player or another creature from a rival creature faction nearby. In these cases, the animal will try and break out of whatever enclosure you've put it in. Untamed boar will also be alerted by fire, so ensure that the edge of their enclosure is at least six meters from any fire source. You can tell if an animal is hungry from its status. However, even hungry animals are fussy, and each of the three tameable creature types eat different foods, so make sure that you have the correct food type ready. Animals that are fleeing won't eat, even if they're hungry, which means if you want to tame a one or two star wolf, which only spawn at night and flee and despawn at dawn, you'll have to start the taming process before night ends and it starts to flee. It also means that unfortunately you can't tame animals from raid events, as these creatures will only ever either be alerted during the raid or fleeing and unable to eat after the raid. If all three of these conditions are met, the animal's status will change to acclimatizing, and yellow hearts will start to appear above it, signifying that taming is underway. Taming will progress at a tick every three seconds. You need 600 of these successful ticks to tame each of the three tameable creatures in the game. If at some point taming is interrupted, either if the animal becomes hungry or it becomes alerted, or maybe the player moves too far away from the animal, the taming progress will pause. But once all three conditions are met again, taming will resume right where it left off. If you manage to tame the animal without any of these interruptions, taming will progress by 1% every 18 seconds, and will be 100% complete in just 30 minutes. One single food item will keep an animal fed for 10 minutes, so it's a good idea to drop a stack of food that will last the full duration of the taming process, at least three food items per animal, but go with five to be safe. It's also important to keep in mind that by going to sleep, all creatures will reset back to being hungry, even if they've just eaten, essentially wasting that bit of food. Once a wild animal is tamed, you'll get a message pop up on the screen and little hearts will come out of the animal. This newly tamed animal will join the player's faction, which means that it won't attack you or any of your other tamed animals. You can also now pet it and change its name with left shift and E, so that when it's inevitably killed by a mob, you really feel it. But what about the chickens, I hear you cry? Well, rather helpfully, chickens come pre-tamed, straight from the egg. Once you've defeated the fifth boss, Yagluf, the elusive merchant Haldor will add chicken eggs to his assortment of items for sale. Just one egg will set you back 1,500 coins, so I hope you've been saving up. Just make sure you buy at least two eggs if you want them to breed and produce more eggs. 
In order to hatch your egg, you need to drop it inside a shelter, as indicated by the shelter icon, and within range of a heat source, such as a campfire, hearth, or hot tub. Different heat sources have different ranges, but you'll be able to tell whether a particular spot is in range if you have the fire effect in the top right corner. When the egg is within range of a heat source, its status will change from too cold to warm. Once warm, the egg will take 30 minutes to hatch. However, if something interrupts the egg's warmth, like you pick it up or the fire goes out, the 30 minutes of warmth will have to restart all over again. Note that also if you have several eggs you want to hatch, you need to drop them individually, not as a stack. After 30 uninterrupted minutes of warmth, the egg will hatch a little chick, and after 50 minutes, this chick will grow up into a fully tamed hen, which just like other tamed animals, you can also pet and change its name. Chickens, or more accurately hens, will eat barley, dandelions, and also a range of seeds, including beech seeds, birch seeds, carrot seeds, turnip seeds, and onion seeds. So make sure you've got some to hand if you want some happy hens. If you've successfully managed to get two tamed animals of the same type, you can make some more much more easily through breeding. For the most part, breeding works in a very similar way to how wild animals are tamed in the game, but there are also a few more factors that you need to take into consideration. Breeding is only possible if the creature is within the active area, not alerted, and not hungry. As it takes two to tango, there will also need to be a suitable partner for that animal nearby, which also needs to be tamed, not hungry, and not pregnant itself. And lastly, the number of creatures nearby must not be exceeding the limit for this animal type. For boar, this limit is 5 boar within 10 metres. For wolves, it's 4 within 10 metres. For chickens, it's 10 within 10 metres. And in locks, this limit is 4 within 20 metres. So make sure that if you're keeping your animals in an enclosure, it isn't too full for breeding to take place. Eggs will also count towards this limit for chickens, so if you want your hens to continue laying eggs, you'll need to pick up the ones that are lying around. In every one of your fully grown tamed animals, these five conditions will be checked every 30 seconds. If during one of these checks, all five of these conditions for breeding are met, there is a 33% chance that that individual will gain a love point as indicated by the pink hearts above it. These pink hearts, however, don't necessarily mean that that animal is pregnant, as chicken, boar, and wolves each need three love points to become pregnant, while lox will need four love points to get pregnant. Once an individual has the required number of love points, it will become pregnant, although there currently isn't an indicator for this. Boar and wolf offspring will be born after one and a half minutes, as will chicken eggs but in locks, it will take two and a half minutes for a baby locks to be born. It's also worth mentioning that creatures in Valheim are not separated into male and female forms, so any and all of your tamed animals can become pregnant, as long as they have the required amount of love points. If you have a one or two star boar or wolf, they will pass down their star level to the offspring they give birth to. Chickens and locks don't have star levels currently, but chickens will at least pass on their colouring to their offspring. Using the butcher knife to kill a baby boar or wolf cub will leave you with nothing but a sense of guilt. Lox offspring will at least drop you something, as will chicks occasionally, but really, you might as well just wait for them to grow up to get the full drops. Chicks, boar and wolves take 50 minutes to become fully grown, while lox will take double the time, at 100 minutes. As mentioned, breeding your tamed animals gives you easy access to some great drops. Wolf hides to fully upgrade your wolf armor, lox meat to turn into a lox meat pie, and now chicken meat, which is pretty good just cooked on its own, but when combined with honey and newton puffs, gives you the honey glazed chicken, currently the joint second most health rich food in the game. To give your tamed animals a quick death, you can craft the butcher knife at the forge, from four tin and two wood. If you don't fancy eating your new buddies and their offspring, you can take advantage of some of their unique uses, as you'll know from your encounters with them in the mountains, wolves are pretty fierce, but once they're tamed, they'll be fighting on your side. Your tamed wolves can be commanded to follow you by pressing E, or to guard a specific area by pressing E again. Unfortunately, they can't follow you through portals, but with a little creativity, you may be able to take them on your travels anyway. If any of your good boys get injured along the way, 
just chuck them some food and they'll start to restore their health. The same also goes for any of your other tamed animals if they get injured. Locks can be ridden by crafting a lock saddle from 10 leather scraps, 20 linen thread and 15 black metal. Just add the saddle to one of your hotkeys and equip it to one of your tamed locks. Hover over the saddle and press E to use. To head forward, hit W and to stop, hit S. To run, you can hold left shift, which you'll see will start to deplete your locks' stamina bar. You can steer by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse in the direction you want to go. As you ride, you'll also gain XP towards the riding skill, which will reduce the stamina your locks uses and allow it to run faster. Once you're done for the day, you can remove the saddle from your locks by pressing left shift D. Finally, chickens of course come in handy for the yummy eggs that they lay which can be used to craft a number of food recipes, including the pretty mediocre cooked egg and the mushroom omelette, which is currently the second most stamina rich food in the game. Yep, these little guys produce the second most health rich and stamina rich foods in the game. Definitely seems like it's well worth having a fair few of them around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more Mislin guides coming soon. Perhaps you'll also enjoy this other Valheim guide I made. But until the next one, have a great day.